Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. But keep in mind the timing is fluid, and this reading may not be for you, okay? So this reading may not be for you at all. What do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for, you could say, it's being recorded on the 9th, so the 9th through the 16th? Pale. Ooh, time to get out of a situation. You need to get out of a situation. Bottom of the deck, rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So you, you got an arrogant, boastful person around you. You need to get away from that person. You need to get out of the situation with that person. It's time for you to get out of a situation. What do we have for Capricorn? Something about two weeks from now. Something is going to happen in two weeks from now. I don't know why the camera does that. There we go. Oh. Libra. Could be dealing with a Libra. Maybe you need to get away from a Libra. I don't know, but this is justice. Law could get involved. You need to get out of a situation. I don't know. Maybe, may, I don't know. Libra is somehow involved. This is the card of justice. So there's some sort of realignment that is happening. There could also be news of legalities. Some of you need to make a decision. Because Libra is all about decisions. It's all about the truth. It's all about the facts. You may be starting with a clean slate in the very near future. Maybe in two weeks you're going to be you know, starting a new chapter, starting a new story. You have to make a decision. You do. Time to get out of a situation. You gotta act with integrity. Maybe you need to be honest with somebody. Maybe you need to tell somebody something. You know, maybe you need to tell somebody something. You know, maybe you just need to tell them the truth. If you don't wanna be in their situation, just tell them. What do we have for Capricorn? The world. So this is the end of a cycle. It is. You're stepping into a new experience. You're stepping into a new life. This is congratulations. This is accomplishment. This is success. Leaving the past behind. Moving towards the future. So this is, this is some, you may even be getting some sort of recognition. I feel like you've learned some sort of lesson that has caused your evolution. Right? This may, this may even be a change of residence. Okay? Could be a change of residence. Something to do with commitment. Some of you may be getting into a new commitment or you may be, your commitment st uh, status may be stepping it up to the next level. This is a higher power that is involved. You could also be dealing with a Taurus. Um, believe, have faith, listen to your gut. There's some sort of divine guidance here. You're being divinely guided. You are being, there's God. There's a higher power involved here. We have the King of Wands, the Moon, and the Six of Pentacles on one side. On the other side, we have the Five of Wands reversed, the Four of Wands reversed, and the Ten of Wands reversed. And the, the, the basis is the world, which is a completion of a cycle. I feel like you've, you are really sitting in a position of authority. You're sitting in a position of power right now. This is about what you deserve. It's about going after what you deserve. It's about reciprocation. It's about give and take. I feel like you, there's, a, there's an offer here. There's, there's some sort of, there's somebody in your sight that can bring balance to your life. There's also a decision that is being made. I'm wondering if you are making the decision or if they're making the decision. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
Um, we also have Taurus here. This is divine guidance. I feel like there's been some sort of conflict. This is the end of a conflict. This is packing up, going somewhere, four of wands, reverse, unhappy home, temporary living situation. I don't know if you're in a temporary living situation, wishing you were anywhere but there. There's trouble in paradise. Um, five of wands, reverse. That could be a full scare battle. I don't know if it's a battle on the home front. I don't know if you're living with people that you don't get along with, or I don't know, that could, it could be nasty neighbors even. Um... There could be some sort of separation. There could be a conflict that causes a separation. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Reverse is letting go. Letting go. It's time to relax. It is. It's time to relax. Time to stop fighting with somebody. Yeah, I don't know if you've been committed to somebody and they've been causing a lot of conflicts for you. You have a new beginning here. You definitely have a new beginning here. I feel like you need to let go of your fear. You need to have confidence. You need to have faith. Have faith in, in whatever God has brought into your life at this time. I feel like you're being given an opportunity. I mean, this is like a gift. This is a generous offer. It really is. The Six of Pentacles. Okay? It's a generous offer. So I feel like you are receiving something. All is not as it seems, though there's an unclear and difficult path ahead. I feel like you're dealing with, your, you are also dealing with somebody that is very, very arrogant, like I said. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. Um, there's been a lot of pettiness, there's been a stiff competition. This person likes to poke you, they like to, they thrive on getting you going. Somebody tries to get you going all the time. Um, I don't know if this is somebody you live with or somebody that you work with or somebody that you've been in a previous commitment with. Uh, maybe you're letting them go and they start to pick a fight. They pick a, I do see that this is my second Capricorn reading. Ow. Why you gotta do that? They do it all the time. Um, anyhow, right here. Lay down. There we go. Anyhow, I've got them all over me. I'm pretty used to it. Anyhow, um, the world. The world, major completion of a cycle. There's been some sort of fear. There's been some sort of illusion. Somebody's been hiding something. They have been hiding something. You're about to receive. You are about to receive something. Two weeks from now has something to do with a commitment. This is reciprocation. It's, it's being treated fairly. It's being treated with equality. I feel like you are taking action. I feel like you're ready. I feel like you're ready. I think you've got some sort of new vision. But there's still some sort of fear with the moon card here. Fear of not receiving. You are in a very strong position. I think that you have persevered through something. Some sort of battle, some sort of conflict with an individual. Whoever you are dealing with, um, and they may be having a hard time letting you go. I think, they're, I think that you are making a decision. I think that you're making a decision to face your fears. You want something more. You want what you deserve. You know, you're going to be getting an offer. You may even be getting, if, if this is, this could even be a job offer for some of you. This is a leadership position where you're, you're, you're in the lead. You've reached the top. You've, you've reached the uh, leadership status, right? You may be even getting that position or a position, a leadership position, or you're taking a leadership position or you're taking charge of your life. But um, this is the end of a cycle where there's been a lot of conflict. There's been a lot of competition. I feel like you've been in a comp uh, or competition, uh, co a commitment with somebody that, you know, it's just not happy. It's not what you were looking for. You know, the Four of Wands was a temporary situation. It was like a temporary commitment or whatnot. Um, but this is letting it go, letting it go, letting them go, letting them go. Maybe you have another opportunity here for a long-term commitment. And I did see that because they had the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Six of Swords, Reverse, Page of Wands, Reverse. You're dealing with somebody that is going to pick a fight. If, when you decide to let them go, when you decide to let them go, they're going to pick a fight with you. They're going to try to stop you. 
They're going to try to stop you. They're going to try to hold on to you. This person has nothing good to say. They're a negative Nelly. They're very pessimistic. They're going to say that's not a good match for you, or they're just going to say mean things. This is a mean-spirited individual who doesn't want you to leave. It's like they don't want you to go anywhere, okay? So they're going to pick at you. Somebody's going to pick at you this week. Six of Swords reverse, not going anywhere. Trouble. You may there may even be some accusations. I wonder if somebody's gonna be making some accusations against you this week. Has to do with a relationship or has to do with a commitment. Maybe they've been let go and they're upset, you know, and they accuse you of something. So there could definitely be some accusations this week. I feel like uh you're going to be giving up on somebody, letting them go. You're going to be letting them go. And I feel like it's because you you got this new vision, right? You got this newfound confidence. You got this newfound self-esteem. You want something more balanced. And I see that with the Libra card as well, okay? This is more balanced, okay? You want balance in your life, right? You want something that is fair and just. And I think you're going to be making a fair and just decision this week. <coughs> Excuse me, I do have a cold. Time to get out of a situation. It's time for you to step into your new existence, right? This is like doing the noble thing, doing the right thing. It's like you see that this is the right thing to do, right? You gotta face your fears, you know? And I feel like that's what you're gonna be doing. I feel like you're, you're finding this confidence to face your fears because you want something more. You want something more. So I think you're gonna be letting something go. I think you're letting somebody go that is not well suited for you, that you may have been in some sort of temporary living situation or temporary commitment with. I mean, the Four of Wands reversed, or next to the Page of Wands reversed. Um, this is bad news, you know, bad news. I also feel like there's somebody that uh, is going to be causing you trouble. They are going to pick a fight with you. This person's going to pick at you. They're going to they're going to challenge you. They're going to poke you. They, and, it, and why though? Because you've let them go. Because so you know that's what it, the way it goes. When you let somebody go because you got this new desire, or you got this new vision, or you got, you get some sort of passion for something more, you know, whoever you let go usually doesn't like it, you know, because then they lose their power. They lose their control over you. So you do have an arrogant, boastful person that you should not cross that is going to be causing you some trouble this week. My guess is it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could also be um, a Libra. Could also be, I really feel like it's a fire energy. Could also be a Pisces or a Cancer. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is my, my best guess here. Um, or somebody that has a lot of fire in their chart, okay? this per, You need to get away from this person. You do need to get away from this person. This person is trouble, okay? This person is trouble. Um, you may be wishing that you never met this person by the time it was over. This person has jealousy issues. They act like a child. You know, they're going to try to stop you from moving on, okay? You can't go back. You can't go back. You can't go back to this person. It's over. You know, you need to tell them that. Three of Cups. This may have to do with a third party situation. Now, Three of Cups it could be socializing, having fun, dating, getting together with somebody. Um, celebrating your new life. There's going to be an upcoming get together. There's going to be an upcoming celebration. You're totally leaving the past behind, stepping into this new experience. You may be choosing, you're leaving, and maybe there's a third party here, and that's because I put it with the world card. The world is a major ending. It's the end of a phase. Maybe it's the end of something with a third party. You're definitely making some sort of decision with the Libra card and the King of Wands. That's a very decisive energy. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead, but it's what you deserve and what you want. You want reciprocation. You want balance in your life. This is doing the right thing to get what you deserve. It's like you're taking action to get what you deserve. It's like, this is what I want. I want reciprocation. You know, I want equality. I want, I want, you know, I don't want a one-sided situation. I want a two-sided situation, you know. 
strength. You are finding some sort of courage, some sort of confidence and willpower and discipline to face your fears. You really are. This is letting go of fears. You, you, have, a, you have some sort of blessing that is coming. Who, whoever you are dealing with is probably a fire sign. I got the nine of wands reversed over on their side. They nine of wands reversed. This is uh, a challenger. This person's gonna challenge you. They are wounded. They're hurt. They don't want to give up. They want to stop you. They're good. They want to stop you. They want to stop you from. I don't know, celebrating or having fun or stepping into your new life. This is somebody that is very cocky, very egotistical, sits on a high horse that is very disagreeable. This is somebody who likes to fight, that thrives on some sort of fighting, that loves to fight. You got somebody here that likes to fight a lot. Feels like it's a fire energy. There's trouble on the home front or trouble in paradise. There's definitely trouble. We got the six of swords reversed and the four of wands reversed. That's trouble in paradise, trouble in a foundation, trouble in a partnership, trouble in a commitment. And I see an ending because the world card is a major completion. I don't know if there's drinking here as well for some of you. We got somebody here that is angry. They're angry. They are definitely angry. This person may explode. They may cause some trouble for you. They're trying to cause trouble. Somebody here is trying to cause trouble for you. There is. This is a stiff competitor. They thrive on competition. They hate to lose. And it's just because they have some sort of anger issues or control issues, you know? Whew. There's some sort of relief that is coming. It feels like you're relieving them of their responsibilities. It's like you're just letting them go and they don't like it. Devil. Devil. Now that's your energy. It feels like you have you are tied to somebody that is toxic, that is unhealthy. You are tied to somebody that is unhealthy. It's a it's a toxic bond. And maybe it's you that's having a hard time moving on. Somebody is move is having a hard time moving on from a foundation that isn't happy. There's no happiness here. There's no commitment, you know, and it's time to move on. It's time to stop playing these games, right? It is. If there's no commitment, if you're not, if there's no love, because I don't see any love in these cards. I don't see any love at all. If there's no love, there's no secret. Why play? I mean, right? Why play? Anyhow, um, you also have somebody here that is very, very secretive. There's somebody here that is very, very secretive that is deceiving you, okay? Again, I think it's a fire sign. could also be a Pisces. You know, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, Pisces, or, you know, a Cusper, Sagittarius, Scorpio, or what's the other one? Leo, Cancer, could be Cuspers. I'm not sure, but um, please lay down right here. Anyhow, I feel like um, you're going to be getting together with somebody. You're going to be having fun. You may be dating or socializing or going to a party or, or something like that. You need to let your guard down. You need to uh, think positive. You need to let go of your fears. You need to have courage. You need to have confidence. I think that you do have courage and confidence. There is somebody here that is definitely going to challenge you. Okay, they are going to challenge you. And I feel like it's because they want control. They want control over you and they've lost control. This may be you even being challenged. You, your desires, your toxic bonds, your trauma bonds may be challenged, okay? You have to have a new vision. You need to have confidence in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. You got to think about that Hierophant card, okay? You need to uh, find a way to break free from this, I don't know if it's an obsession or it's an infatuation or, you know, it's a competition. Sometimes people, they involve, it's a codependent situation. Sometimes people involve in, in themselves in things just for, or they stay tied to things just for the thrill, the thrill of it, you know. Um, 
It's time to make a conscious change and let go of this person. This is an arrogant, boastful person that has nothing good to say. This person is trouble. They are trouble. They aren't committed. They are. This person is not a good person. There is somebody that you are tied to that is not a good person. They love to play games. They thrive on competition. They have control issues. Why are you still bound to them? All you have to do is break free. Perhaps it's time to start dating or it's time to go out with somebody else or something like that. Wheel of Fortune reversed. All is not as it seems. Right next to that moon card. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. This is a horrendous loss. It's a setback. It's bad luck. It's uh, clinging to control. Somebody, you got somebody here that is wearing a disguise that is very, very controlling. This person, I feel like this person is going to try to, they have hidden agendas. This is an enemy disguised as a friend. There is definitely somebody that is going to be No, this is somebody that, that doesn't care who they hurt as long as they win. This is aggressive. I feel like you got an aggressor here. I do. Somebody that is very, very aggressive. This is a liar. They just want what they want and they're going to do whatever they can do, whatever they have to do to get what they want. Right? Look at the look on that person's face. They're going to do whatever they got to do to get what they want. So there is somebody here that is, has some sort of secrets. Excuse me. There's been some sort of delay. There's been some sort of delay in you stepping into your new experience. There's going to be a celebration. There's going to be a get together. You're going to need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence to move forward. Let go of your fears. Do not stay tied to this toxic individual. I feel like this is just whoever this person is. It was very sexual. It was a sexual kind of commitment. There was no love. It was all about the sex. There ain't no love. I'm sorry. You're going to be receiving a message that catches you off guard. You have to be strong. You have to be strong. You have to get out of this situation. This is a messy situation. The party is over. It's very toxic. I don't know. Some of you, this could even have to do with drinking. If somebody is drinking, you know, things could get out of hand trouble the cops could get involved that's another whole story okay there could be a conflict there could be a fight somebody goes to a party they get drinking a fight breaks out and the cops get called just saying there is definitely somebody here that is a problem this this is a troublemaker we definitely have a troublemaker here in your reading just so you know There's no doubt about it. We absolutely positively do. Ex I'm serious. This person has addictions and they could get out of control. You're going to need to control your temper. You're going to need to control yourself. Remove yourself from the situation so that you don't get yourself in trouble. Justice will be served and perhaps justice is being served right now because you're being an, given an opportunity to end this cycle right now and step in the new territory. You have to find your strength and your courage and your confidence to move forward, right? We have the world card as well. You have to, you have to, you have to find that courage and the confidence to go after what you deserve. Six of Pentacles. Oh, 
oh, now the page of swords is reversed. A message is definitely coming that you probably don't want to hear or somebody's going to be causing you problems. There's pro I think there's news of legalities here for some of you. May even have something to do with a child. There is definitely somebody here that is not healthy. They are not healthy at all. Weak, 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 weak. And they want power, they want control. They have a very, very big ego. Could be dealing with a Leo. Does that have, I feel like it's a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. That's for darn sure. This person is, I don't know if they're losing weight or they're, they are unhealthy. They're unhealthy. There's somebody that is very unhealthy, but anyhow, Page of Swords reverse is bad news. It definitely is bad news. This is a troublemaker. This is a child or somebody that acts like a child that is saying something. Bottom card is the star card, which is a card of hope. It's a card of inspiration. It's a card of renewal. It's a card of wish fulfillment. It's a new purpose. It's unexpected help arriving. So I don't know if it, after the tower has fallen. So I don't know if you've experienced a tower moment already or a tower moment is happening now and unexpected help arrives. Okay, this is unexpected help arriving. This is, this is your wish fulfillment, okay? This is a blessing in disguise after something ends, okay? It's a blessing in disguise. There's gonna be, for some of you, there's a renewal here. There's a renewal. Everything happens for a reason. It happens for a purpose. Um, there's wish fulfillment that is coming to you. There is a blessing. I knew there was. There is a blessing that is coming to you. After you get out of this situation, your wish will, will, will be fulfilled. You have to remove yourself from the situation completely. You have to sever those ties. And I do believe we have somebody here that's going to be severing ties. That There's very toxic energy, toxins, toxics. Going overboard, we had in the other reading, we had temperance reverse, going overboard, going to extremes. So I feel like there's somebody here that's going to extremes. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's somebody that you've been dealing with. I feel like this is the end, okay? The world card is a major completion of a phase, of a cycle in your life, stepping into new territory, stepping into a new existence, change of living situation, perhaps, change of residence, congratulations. You've reached a level of accomplishment by getting out of this situation. Good luck. <laughs>